Hey guys, Dan here from Boggs Aquatics. Uh, today is Friday, May 24th, and we are going to be open from 11 to 6 today. And we've got some boxes to get through. Let's see if I can show them to you guys eh, a little bit. We've got eight boxes to go through, um, and it is already pretty close to 11, so I'm going to get started here. Otherwise, we are going to be open while I'm doing this. Hope everybody's having a good day so far. Um, I know we got a lot of requests on this order, but I know we also had some stuff to cut too, so we'll see what we got. We got some Micro Sword and Arrow Leafs. These are one of my favorite plants. They just always do well for us. Some blue mystery snails. Never have too many of the blues. It's an interesting packing. We got some ivory mystery snails. got a whole lot of narite snails. We we're almost out of these, so good thing we got restocked. We got some betas. We got a Dumbo Delta female. I promise she's in there. I saw her a second ago. She's little and white. And then we got some platinum white crown tail betas. We got three of these guys. They're a really cool beta. Uh, they're males, too. Looks like, yep, we got some koi males and koi females here. Is that all the betas in here? Nope, we got one more. We got a giant be beta, one of the kings. He is a big one. Love it. We got some gold mystery snails. Oh, there's. We got a cat tr trying to mess with my unboxing. We got some yellow rainbows, good size. Butters no. We got a big old fire eel, nice. Love these big ones. You know they're already healthy and eating. It's a lot easier to go with that size. We got a medium Miranda, good size. Got some sword tails, males and females in here. We got some dwarf karami females. I think we just sold out of these, or we're very close to out. And we got some fire tail tuxedo platies. They're just a cool platy species. I think they're really pretty. All right, one box down, seven to go. What we got. Oh, we got some pedicure fish. Nice. We got some long fin gold zebra danios. What do we have here? Pygmy quarries. We were almost out of these. We got more. What do we have here? Some nice sized Doridi rainbows. I love these ones. They just get this really nice like red and blue speckling on them. We got some keyhole cichlids. Really cool Central South American smaller cichlid. We got some, ooh, some really nice sunshine peacocks. You've been looking for something blue and yellow. They look good. We got a peacock eel. Good size, too. Butters. We got butters hanging out. Messing with stuff. We got, we have not had these in, I cannot tell you how long since last time we had these. We got some red tail tiger shovel nose hybrids. We haven't had these in this at is, least a year. We got this red tail tiger shovel nose catfish. Yep. White paws. I'll buy them. Ridiculous. Got some 
I don't know what these are. Definitely a rainbow, but I, I'm not sure what species they are because they are not marked. Um, possibly emeralds. We'll have to see. All right, that is two boxes down and six to go. Got some decent sized African cloth frogs. I think we just sold out of those. Got another red tailed tiger shovel nose hybrid catfish. Got a nice size ant sorghi bicher. Really nice size. I love the ant sorghis. We got some more Chinese algae eaters. These are probably the best algae eaters for signal types. At least in my opinion. We got some albino orange millennium rainbows. We got three of them. They look good. They've always come in good though. We got some half moon female betas. Some really pretty ones in there. We got some, some white clouds and a random guppy. Jumped into there apparently. Got another medium Miranda. Red cap. Nice. Looks good too. And last but not least in this box, 50 pineapple candy crescent platies. Lots and lots of platies. All the platies. Alright. Three boxes down, five to go. see what we got in here. We got some more mono shrimp. Never have too many. Got, what do we have here? Oh, some more of these African fasciolatus barbs. They sold out really quick last time, so we got some more in. We got yo-yo loaches. We've been out of yo-yo loaches for way too long. We finally have some back in, and they are fantastic for eating snails. If you need some snail control. We got some nice sized dwarf kamaka rainbows. These things are really big. Those sold out really quick last time. Really, really quick. We got some red honey garamis. So really cool smaller garami species. Got some cherry shrimp. Love it. I think we were running a little low. We got some albino paradise karamis. Looking good. Got some white Moscow male guppies. These things are always just really pretty. Last but not least in this box, some panda quarries. Sorry, I mean to throw them in the screen there. But they all look good, too. Alright. Four boxes down, four to go. We got some Golden Wonder Killifish. We haven't had these in at least a couple months. We got some long fin zebra danios. We got lots more pedicure push. Setting these off to the side. Pretty sure. We got lots more pedicure push. We got another red tailed tiger shovel nose hybrid. And some really nice twin tail male betas. And last but not least, more pedicure fish. They always come in alive. Love it. All right, five boxes down, three to go. Trying to remember what we haven't got to yet. Oh, yeah. 
This is a new one for us. It's our albino Taiwan reef cichlids. They look really pretty when they get big. They're an African. We've got some red and blue Colombian tetras. These guys also get this, this, this really nice blue iridescence as they get big. Oh, we got some really nice OB cichlids. Looks like we lost one, but the rest look good. What do we have here? Oh, you're so little. These are a new one. I don't know if you can really see them. We might have to come in to see these guys. They're called hovering zebra loaches. Always trying to check out new species, and they looked cool. We got some pink tuxedo male guppies. What do we have here? Ember tetras! They always look like nothing when they come in. They color up pretty quickly, though. We got some stone catfish. Those are really cool little tanks. They'll just kind of come out at night and clean up, and they stay really small. Got some male dwarf garamis. Some pretty ones in there. Got some diamond tetras. Nice. We haven't had these in a minute either. Last but not least in this box, some Rasbora Hets. I think we only have one of these in the store right now, so. Now we'll be back in stock. All right, guys. Two boxes left. This is one people have been waiting for. Pea puffers. We got some pea puffers back in stock. We are getting close to the time where they're out of season. Normally, like June through August, we typically can't get them. So if you want them, get them soon. We got another peacock eel, a bigger one. We got some gold white clouds. Really nice uh, fish to go with betas and stuff like that. Got a really good sized Delhezi Bicher. Got a couple zigzag eels. These are one of the smaller eel species. Really cool, really easy to take care of. Just eat like frozen bloodworms and brine shrimp. We got ooh, a really good sized endless sherry Bicher. A nice long tail there. Got more yo yo loaches! Yay! I'm sure, these won't last long. We got some polka dot pictus catfish. Everybody loves these. And some giant danios. We were almost out. Alright, we only got one box left. Then I gotta get all this stuff put away. getting you. We got a really good sized rope fish. We just got one, I believe. We got another medium Miranda, another red cat. Oh, two really nice sized tire track eels. These are my favorites. I love the tire tracks. At least fresh water. What do we have here? Oh, we have not had these in a long time. Um, so if you want these, get them while they're here. These are Nagara peacock cichlids. Um, they're an African and they just get really pretty as they get big. They're N-G-A-R-A -A peacock cichlids. We've got some liar tail balloon mollies. They all look good. We got some silver dollars, good size too. And last but not least, I haven't seen these yet, so hopefully they they are as advertised. Yeah, they are. All right, we got a sulfur head peacock pair. There's the male. You can see even in shipping, he looks good. Definitely stressed, but he'll color up. And there's the female. So if you want to breed some sulfur heads, we've got a pair. I'd say they're both about five inches. All right, guys, that's it. We're gonna get this stuff put away. 
If you have any questions or want any of this stuff, uh, reach out, stop in, or hit us up on Facebook, shoot us an email, or just come in. Have a great day, guys. Later.